After praying for 17 hours to the dodecahedron dominion, all doubt has been cleansed from my mind and I can go back jumping to the breach, climbing those prestige levels, bringing violence to all these silly, silly heretics, destroying their cause. I no longer care about their shapes, about their convictions, about their wants or needs or possible former selves. All I care about is that they are targets, they are enemies of my cause, and they must be eradicated. There is no reason to doubt, there is no reason to hold any question in my chest, for there is only the certainty of the dodecahedron creed and all those who oppose it. It doesn't matter that they have five sides or four sides or no sides or even those weird pill-shaped abominations matters not one bit. All that matters is that they stand on the opposite side and they must be destroyed. That is my mission. That is my reason for being. And even though these most prestigious of foes, they have climbed in power and resilience, I endure even harder. For my mission is sacred. It is heaven sent from the clouds above. The cloud I do mean as in the actual cloud of supercomputing. I'm not talking about a figurative like heaven kind of environment that is silly, that is even blasphemous. All I'm talking about is the actual cloud of supercomputing that the dodecahedron creed maintains high, high above my station. And I do mean that figuratively because our land is completely flat. There's only flat geometrical shapes here. So when I talk about high and low, I am talking about actual, just uh, figurative ways of speaking. We exist horizontally from these creatures and the z-axis is basically a blaspheming proposition that I refuse to even believe exists. So don't be talking to me about height. Miss me with all that silly z-axis nonsense that is just atrocious that you would even come up with a concept so outrageous such as that and I really don't want to hear about it ever again I don't want to ever visit doubt upon my heart this level 6 prestige is truly a painful experience it is in fact absolutely atrocious to endure but if I don't struggle if I don't find challenges to surmount if I don't make my experience into a true ordeal, then what's even the point? What am I here? To just mow down foes? Or am I here to improve myself? I have missed the entire point of this. For I may be a soldier in a holy war, but I am also a tool to be shaped in the greatest image of the dodecahedra. I may be a low pentagon with a mission, with a heaven-sent mission that cannot be ignored but i am also a tool for my superiors to shape as they see fit and perhaps this is the way that it must be done i must go into this horrendous swampy mire and dwell among swarms of the unwashed the foresighted the pie worshippers the pill abominations, they are all but tests to challenge my conviction, to see if I harbor in my chest a shadow of doubt. And I will admit, sometimes I did, sometimes I did endeavor, uh, entertain, sometimes I did entertain the possibility that I may not be on a mission as holy as I thought. No, my, yeah, 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 miles. To, oh, finally, we got thousands, no, thousands of resources. We need more damage, more damage forever. Need to make this filth explode so we can finally let go of this horrible struggle and we can continue climbing up 
utmost echelons of prestige. Climbing up the steps to holiness. Ah, yes, excellent. This is finally doing the dodecahedron's god's work. And once more, we get to mow down children of the pentagons. It is a holy... Give me more enemies, for the more enemies I explode, the closer I get to Nirvana. It is so great to finally have clarity, to finally see where before I was blind, to regard these sad, lowly creatures as nothing but tools to my own salvation. I had a wrong estimation of what I was here for. That is the entire problem that I've been facing. I can't believe that I didn't see it until now. I can't believe I've been so blind. Turns out the violence is just but a metaphor for the forging of my own soul. I am being forged into something else. Being brought forth for a final anointment. I can see a bright future ahead of me. Bright and full of sides and proper angles after I have done my time among the heathen. It truly is a short-lived experience, perhaps. We start need to start getting a little bit more defense. Prestige level 6, it's no walk in the park. Long departed are those days where I was being a vigilante in those suburban parks going around shooting young geometrical shapes in the head that's all gone now now i'm a weapon of mass destruction it is too abstract to even to even attribute a human world quality to it it's just a angle busting nightmare Please, I need to have more defense to withstand their incredible resilience. Seems to something nefarious is uh, at work here. Perhaps, perhaps they found a creed of their own. Maybe that is what's been going on. They have an opposing deity backing their own power. A counterpart, some sort of of counterbalance to the dodecahedron dominion maybe the one dimensional plus 25 damage hell yeah give me 25 damage that's exactly what i needed more explosions actually what i need is more armor so i need to go up to the north area of the upgrade tree anyway back to the incredibly heartfelt narrative because I think I'm seeing the lines. I'm seeing the depth behind these wall of deception that has been taking over my cognition. They have been putting up a screen to hide who it truly is behind the power of these buffoons. Give me yeah, bigger explosions. I want more resilience. So let me just put points on resilience. Let me forget about the existence of the, the bottom stuff for a while. Bigger explosions is super nice though. For these buffoons need to be taught a lesson. Look at this lazy piece of trash. He doesn't even rotate. I can't believe they're going down to such depraved depths. These squares don't even bother to have angular momentum. Truly a display of unholiness. And that just supports my theory that it really is some kind of deep, depraved, monstrous deity. It is supporting them from beneath the earth is what's going on here. I mean, just get more armor. That is, it is just atrocious. The level of damage that their, their unholy retribution is visiting upon my person. I need to just endure though. I need to be able to call to the heavens for more dodecahedral protection and that is the problem maybe i'm just not praying hard enough i'm not being zealous enough I'm not showing enough conviction 
for my benefactors to bestow their gifts upon me. What do you think I'm freaking entitled to it? That I'm just here and all it's just coming down the pipeline. You don't need to put any effort in it. You don't need to even preach at all or even create any kind of narrative. It's just all going to happen all by itself. What do you think? Everything just happens without putting effort into it. More armor, please. More armor is necessary. No, you need to be actively spreading the word. You need to be overzealous in your enforcement of it. These filthy squares cannot be given any leeway for they will leech them their evil convictions into my brain despite all my efforts to prevent them from happening. They're constantly whispering, constantly dropping snide comments to make me into their bitch. And I do not appreciate that. For only the dodecahedrons can have my flesh loyalty. I will open all my orifices for their needs. No orifices for you, you flat scumbags. I cannot believe that I am mired in this terrible, terrible environment, constantly dealing with low lives. Not even low lives anymore. They're just the objects that I need to destroy. Maybe things are starting to become slightly more senseless because they're mingling so hard, they are becoming a mass of flesh that I just obliterate from orbit. Things are, are just not making much sense anymore. It's all, all these geometrical shapes all in my face. Maybe I need to take a little vacation time or something. But no, no, absolutely not. Must continue my unending crusade to destroy this horrible faction. Give me more armor. More armor is necessary. Not really boss armor because uh, armor against bosses because we just don't get to the damn bosses. It is upsetting indeed. So does the do the pulse shots do they reflect damage to me? I don't think they do. Probably I could be making way more progress if I simply went down in prestige a little bit. Maybe tone down my aspirations but i cannot help myself the moment that i get given the chance to go above and beyond for the ultimate dominion i must do it i will rise to this call i will struggle to victory what good is a victory if you did not work for it seems to be a very very uh straightforward argument right there oh yeah oh yeah give me oh their evil boss filth has finally shown itself truly a thing of madness to even look upon it give me more more damage to these pulse vault pulse bolts i don't even kept track of how much damage do the bolts do let me just shoot oh that's actually pretty match an attack wonder how much damage uh, in proportional, they do probably like maybe 50%, maybe, maybe almost full damage, but not quite. Pretty sure just the explosion is, is higher damage than one of those bolts. But soon, my giant reticle is going to cover the entire screen and then there will be no escape. No hiding from the most holy of smiting that is happening upon this filth still hard to wrap around the, my mind around the fact that these traitors fight for their cause. They brought all their children with them. It is truly disgusting what they have done. It fills me with the most abject. Oh yeah, I've earned a hundred thousand. Huh? Is that a milestone? Ooh, baby. Climb. Nothing else. Nothing else, but we get a few upgrades here. This is a new one. Unlock the crypto mine tab. We're building paper clips, baby. Yes. Crypto mine. What? <laughs> the conversion rate of bit to net coin, all right? If you deposit, you get net coin. Psh, 
sure. I give you a thousand. I give you a thousand and uh, you're giving me stuff back. Deposit it and then it all then over. Automatic convert into Netcoin over time. Spend processes to improve the conversion speed. And for some reason, I really care about this Netcoin. It is another, another resource. Uh, gospel is being rained from above, giving me a new path to enlightenment. Truly incredible developments happening before your very eyes. A new page was turned upon the teachings of the Dodecahedron Creed. What a buffoon I've been thinking that that was it. I simply did not have access. I didn't have access to the upper echelons of the teachings. Much like the teachings of Xenu. I needed more Thetans to be able to access the importance of mining some net coins to be able to afford the high life. What you just witnessed is me finally being accepted into the elite society of pentagons. I may even be upgraded to hexagonal shapes. I might like I don't wanna I don't wanna get too big for my britches here, but like I have entertained the ambition of one day going hexagonal. I know, I know I I should know my pentagonal place, but I've been shown a new heights. I had no idea even existed. This fills me with some serious, serious aspirations. I thought that I was but a foot soldier stuck in this war forever, destined to mow down this pathetic filth. But now I see that I'm being called to a higher purpose. This has only been but the beginning of my upcoming ascension into true importance. I'm going to maybe, I mean, I know that I, I may be selling this milk from the cow that I haven't even bought, but it is possible. It is. There has been tales of pentagons making more, becoming more than their five sides might imply. It is extremely possible. It is well known, well known, well known hero of the Pentagon society, Five Man. Look, he had a, a very uh, exemplary name. He ha he was like the highest example of our of our kind. So of course he was called Five Man. I know it's like the most common name for pentagons, but you know he's just representative of our kind. He was such a hero. He was such a great, excellent proponent of the Dodecahedron doctrine that he actually was able to ascend, not even to hexagonal heights, not even to octagonal. He kind of skipped the heptagon. He he really did not like how that entire there between you and me, the heptagons are kind of kind of decadent. We don't really talk about them. They're kind of like the, the hidden shame of the Dodecahedron societies. It's kind of like a taboo subject. Let me just stop. Let me just stop because we start talking about these people and they are uh, just just depressing to even think about. Let me, let me just make more investments. It's very important for me to make more mining investments. <laughs> the, you know, you gotta be savvy with your with your monies. Yes, even more, even more squares being spawned. Hell yeah. Any milestones? Any milestones? I can, no, nothing. I have only, the only milestones that I have reached is in my heart because I am allowing myself to become something more. I, all along, turns out that I was my own highest limitation. It turns out that only I stood in the path of project progress and I only needed to push myself to become better than. That's just a life lesson that I wish I had learned a long time ago. All I needed to do was believe in myself, 
maybe I can get beyond these five angles of containment. Just like Five Man did, he became a nonadicahedron. -na that is not a real shape. I am making things up right now. But I, I got so excited. I got a little too excited about this this tale that maybe I need to I need to rein it back a little bit. Processor acquisition. Chance for yellow enemies to spawn. And you need you just, you just need need some of these. It's imp very important for the cost. Yes, double resource drops. Excellent. More resources. I think I'm starting to see the lines. I'm starting to see that it's not about stopping power. It's not about causing pain and suffering and destruction. It's not even about taking the punishment. It's about getting rich. The more money I have, the more power I can unleash upon this filth. And the more power I can withstand upon my flesh. It all revolves around currency. Oh, the moment that they opened the possibility of me being able to attain net coins. That is something that was just not possible just a minute ago. My existence has been appended, completely changed by this development. And soon, soon, I'll be part of the elite. There's no stopping me now, because I now see the lines. I now see why things as, are they, as they are. Before, I could only see the surface level. Now I can clearly see... Now I can clearly see that all I need is extra money. Very important to get all the money. And what do you need? To make more money? Well, clearly, what you need to make more money is to have more pawns to exploit. Therefore, I am bringing in even more filth into my purview. And you may think, I thought you wanted to cleanse them. I thought you wanted to eliminate them all. Isn't bringing more of them completely counterproductive to what you're trying to achieve? You fool! You failed to understand the paradigm shift that I've been droning on about for 20 minutes is not about killing these 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 squares and filthy circles and pill-shaped monstrosities they are meaningless they are completely inconsequential what matters is my ability to exploit them i can't believe i didn't see it before here i was trying to do an ethnic cleansing and all along instead of cleansing I needed to empty their pockets, use their labor for my own benefit. That is the way that the dodecahedron does it, and they kind of hide their ways from those that just do not, are incapable of truly understanding what you're supposed to do. But now that I can see the real shape of the universe, now that I understand how the world works, works i just now realized that actually lets you know when there's a milestone to be claimed i mean just invest more into the future of this company oh yeah twelve thousand more investments give me more resources and i'm going to upgrade that speed oh yeah you gotta invest you gotta put in money to get money give me more things coming out even bigger attack size i am leery of clicking on that i am slightly intimidated to click on this i'm so big i'm so big holy crap i get murdered immediately let us be sure to go back i got look i may have been a little too enthusiastic my paradigm shift is completely truthful but it turns out you do still need to pace yourself. You can't just go up to the big dogs right away. You need to be able to exploit all the fools in your path before you find even bigger fools to exploit. And only once they are completely drowned of resources like they are right now, look at how 
how efficient I am at the exploitation of these pathetic low lives. All along, man. I can't believe I didn't, th I didn't see it. Here I've been trying to kill them all when it was so much more effective to use them for profit. That is what the real world is all about. Yes, bring more. Bring more traitors. Bring more heretics. More heathens. If you don't have scapegoats for your society, if you don't have dregs to blame all the bad things upon, what are you going to do? Improve actual conditions? That is absolutely silly. That is just idiotic to even consider. Man, they, these upgrades are starting to get a little, a little too costly, though. Let me just get some... Uh, actually, no, we really should be going for the extra protection, right? So let me just start making some some big armor investments. Attacking eight or less enemies. That is bizarre. Get armor equal to plus one percent. Whoa, that is very nice. Give me extra armor against bosses. Plus 300 max. That is just outrageous. Uh, we're at the point where our base currency is not even effective enough we have transcended from the bottom feeder economy and now we are rolling with the high rollers with the true actual lords of this land they don't take pennies they don't take even dimes they take cold hard gold nuggets that is the real currency that they are accepting and now I am finally able to harvest that so you know quite the big dog happy shaping up over here to be honest this entire entire religious silly crusade almost beneath me by now is truly quite silly to think about all the all that absolutely asinine religious nonsense I was spewing you know who my god is? Cold hard cash, baby. Just give me more currency. And that is my one true god. There is no dodecahedron domain, or rather, rather, let me not go full on blasphemous here. <laughs> my bad. My bad. You're getting a little too excited there. It's a shift. It's not about enforcing the creed through violence. It is about getting filthy rich through exploitation. You think these are explosions that are happening right here? You think these shapes are being obliterated? No, 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 no. They are getting worked to death. They are being fully destroyed in their soul. It is not about calling their numbers. It is about amplifying the numbers in my pocket. I don't care about damage against bosses. We need some more resilience is what we need here. Um, unfortunately, our, uh, our investments are just not enough. Put more money to make more money. Back to Prestige 6 because I was literally obliterated. Prestige 7, not enough of a high roller yet, but we're getting there. Don't worry about it. It's all going to work out. I can just see the shape of the future right in front of me. There is no stopping this train. This rocket's going straight to the moon. And I have no qualms rolling over all of these pathetic lowlifes to achieve it. I will get to the top on a bed of corpses. I will climb on top of the skulls of my enemies and pick their pockets while I'm at it. Truly a, a change in paradigm here. It's it's just uncanny how small-minded I used to be. How absolutely just close to the actual truths of the world. Turns out all I needed to do was change my focus from souls to coin. And now that only coin matters to me, now I'm finally able to advance as more than a simple sad pentagon trying to make ends meet. Now, I'm beyond the holy warrior. Now I am a messiah, you could say. <laughs> uh, uh, 
let's not get too let's not get too delusion delusion too much too many delusions going on here to bring myself back to reality oops there goes gravity let's go back and continue investing in the algorithm the all-powerful algorithm maybe i need to get even more currency maybe i am ready to face with these upgrades to my health I don't exactly know what that did, but I, I invested on it. Maybe with these upgrades to my health, maybe I'm finally ready to go in Prestige 7. Let's see. Let's test the waters. Hopefully they will not murder me immediately. Truly resilient people, but you know, the more resilient the people that you exploit are, the more profit you can get out of them. It is easily one of the... One of the commandments of the dodecahedron doctrine that i've only now been made privy to it is so nice to finally be enlightened get past all that silly zealotry that gripped my heart before no zealotry here only cold hard cash and the ambition to get it and no qualms whatsoever obliterating the opposition to make it happen going to bust all these damn nodes in a completely different way now used to be they were just exploding in a shower of gore now we need more investments we need to more more crypto mining this is not going right it's another claim to be made destroy five yellow enemies Ooh, baby we got another i completely forgot that you can upgrade the speed Mm, this currency is getting absolutely out of control now i have attained the ultimate profit machine i have bought 17 nvidia 4090s i am going to mine the crap out of this currency there's no stopping me now all of these processing power all this processing power is too much for you to even comprehend unfortunately we're not making a ton of money exploiting these idiots because you attacks nearby enemies even more a hundred damage buddy give me give me enormous jumps in damage hell yeah finally and once again you may think oh well you're just killing them again no i'm just becoming far more effective in my exploitation of the poor and don't downtrodden it's all a metaphor, you see. I am not blowing them up to bits. I am not erasing their existence. Like I said, I'm just crushing their souls into the capitalist machine. And look how effective, how quick I am. Yes, they may... They may fill my heart with retribution. All the damage that they're doing, we do need to invest some more. I've been uh, slacking on my investment strategy i'm not putting enough oh that is my my new improved drone like i said with enough money soon i won't even have to fight this battle i'll have robots to do it for me look how easy this is now i have a freaking ally on my path it doesn't even hurt me when my drone attacks all i need to go is show up and collect the profit this is how the moguls do it this is this metaphor is getting a little too real, honestly, because this is truly how the moguls do it. The dodecahedron doctrine preaches that for uh, the achieving of true nirvana, you must become effortless. You must simply watch progress happen without actually having to do anything. You just have your minions do it for you. And that is why you preach the gospel, because once you get enough underlings, you get enough shapes to do your bidding, well, we need to make more investments. Make more investments right now. Our processor is getting so fast that we uh, can't spend enough money. Gonna get even more currency. When you get enough minions, then you have to do no work whatsoever. And that is why the low-level preaching is, in fact, an excellent boon. Not from your own lips, 
That is the mistake I was making. The preaching is what you teach your minions to do. I used to be one of them. I used to be one of those silly, silly minions that would just spew doctrine without actually understanding the depths of things, the, the true extent of how much advancement I would be able to get used to be just mired in the bog of just mindless slaughter while zealously screaming at the top of my lungs for the advancement of the doctrine, not really understanding what it was all about. But now, now my eyes are open. Now I can see, now I can understand that for me to advance, I just need to put down my fellow man. And when I say fellow man, I obviously mean the lower cast of geometrical shapes that are taking place before you. All the damn pill abominations, they still bother me though. I can't quite shed my full trappings. I do go out of my way to make the pills suffer a little bit more because for they are absolutely atrocious abominations I cannot stand. But I don't let these hangups truly get in the way of things. Let's get some more crypto mining going. Milestones, you say? More claims, you say? More money to be invested immediately? Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go. I do need more resilience. Plus 200 armor. That This is the real deal, baby. This is the real deal. Go back into the breach. Fully upgraded with the technology of the gods. The Dodecahedron Doctrine has provided yet again. And here now I am unbreachable. I am untouchable. I am truly made of solid gold. As I murder, <clears throat> I mean, exploit the lower castes into giving me what I want. And what I want is to collect triangles so I can investment, invest them into more net coin. Oh yeah, look at me. Oh, this feels so good. Mm, is this what the rich feel? Is that what they feel in their ivory towers as they watch those numbers just grow and grow and grow while they just sit behind their computer producing absolutely nothing, giving nothing at all to society, just taking, just taking, put it in your pocket, just taking some more, reaching into the pockets of the low castes, making sure that they never can even look up, let alone climb up from their pathetic, sunken existence. Is this how they feel when they touch heaven, climbing atop towers of skulls? It must be, for it feels wonderful. No wonder they love it. No wonder they clutch at it with the utmost conviction and desperation and they will never ever allow themselves to let go i didn't want to kill the boss i didn't want to go any further i don't want to get too too far ahead of my own ambitions this is a little too much okay, let's see if we can spend the rest of my bits some blues here yeah 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 give me one of these 400% spawn rate. This is too much. Oh, man. I spent my cryptocurrency without even meaning to. You know what? You know what? Bring me to Prestige 6. Bring me to Prestige 6. We're going to murder, I mean, uh, profit from an untold amount of squares being destroyed. Squares and all of their pathetic garbage offspring. All of their abomination mutations and trash tolerance we don't we don't condone it but we sure profit from it i think now now the gospel is actually preaching for them to fight among themselves look at them how they mingle look how they desperately vie from for supremacy upon one one another they used to all be fighting on the common front but now that i have upgraded my outlook 
on the universe. Now I understand that the true power comes from exploding the lower cast and pitting them against each other. Look how well it works by blowing up the circle heathens, making all of their peers be more miscible. They are like crabs in a bucket, keeping themselves way down into the muck while I laugh. I laugh from above. <laughs> ah, it is truly a thing of beauty. So much power is being generated at my fingertips now that the entire screen is being covered in currency and I can only work so hard at gathering it. Soon I'm gonna have to have an employee to gather my money. How insane is that? Long past are those vigilante times of just mowing down the heathens in my spare time. Now I do it for fun as I line my pockets with their hard earned toil and their sad pathetic efforts to become more than they are. They'll never become more than they are. Am I going infinite here? Like, is this just no end? Because this lower echelon, it is without a threat. So I can just keep going, gathering these bits and just never stop. This is the true exploitation of the week. This is what it truly is. Like, at some point you need to tell yourself, look, why keep climbing? Why challenge myself more when I can just stay here and continue taking advantage of these absolute buffoons that have are none the wiser, right? If I go higher in the level of challenges, then maybe, maybe I'll get a little too big and I will suffer retribution. But if I am just stuck down here doing this easy work, I think uh, I am ready to invest. I need to terminate this because we have too much. We have too much money. Let's go back to the area. I have no more currency. So this is a great opportunity to spend the low level stuff. Oh yeah, give me that thing. Uh, 15,000 here. I thought that I was making an insane amount of money, but it's barely enough to get a few upgrades. 10% chance of automatically collect enemy drops when dropped. I just got told, I just got done saying. I need to pay somebody to collect my money. That is exactly what just happened. You realize that I had a saputo to spend, so let's do that. Oh yeah, the auto pulser is becoming even more powerful. Give me my extra crit chance and 50% extra crit damage. Let's go back into... Ah, I really should have crypt to mine something else. Upgrade that speed. Uh, the speed is becoming so fast that now my investments yield instant results. This is exactly as I needed them to be. Everything is according to plan. Everything is by design. Excellent stuff. Yes, more movement speed, huh? More attack size, huh? Oh yeah. Let's go one more in there. And th No, no, they haven't been to that. I don't, I don't want to go back to the dregs. I am ready. I'm ready to climb higher and higher to face even more powerful even more powerful and therefore more exploitable foes. Truly, look at look at how pathetic they are. I thought that, hey, the, these guys are going to be pretty powerful for me. I, maybe I shouldn't face them like this. But no, it is in fact extremely easy to line my pockets with their toil. S the symbolism is just too rich over here. Give me all this money. Oh yeah, my health total, it, it is unchanged. There is no stopping this nonsense. There is nothing but profitability. All my struggles are over. The first million was the toughest to attain. So, you know, I just started with the second million. We're still fighting bosses, apparently, even though I am the boss. I am the true super gigantic mega pentagon that cannot be stopped. Oh yeah, get destroyed, you piece of garbage. We get even more abilities to... Let's. We do have to invest here. It would be nice to find, though, the ultimate investment of currency. <clears throat> the currency that I have, even bigger. Holy bananas. This is just 
absolutely outrageous size. The size of my butt is too much. I need to take a moment to take a moment to uh, wrap my mind about around it. <laughs> 